This is a video my viewer sent me. You are probably sure it's a common bed bug. Uh, nope, it's not. It really is a bed bug, but it doesn't live in beds and it only bites people out of desperation when it has no normal food. Uh, bed bugs like this one do not live in flats or houses and do not breed in beds and sofas. Marina wheel is here and swallow bugs are there in the apartment in the South European city. From the video fragment here on the windowsill, it is impossible to absolutely unequivocally uh, identify its species because it is difficult to see the details of uh, its morphology. Although it has some hints of its swallowing, uh, I will talk about them further, but just from its appearance, and only in this video fragment, it appears to be a common bed bug. And I only suspected that it is not a common bed bug when the author wrote that these bugs are climbing into his apartment from swallow nests hanging on the wall of the house near the windows. Here, for example, is a bed bug sitting on the wall right on the plaster. Not far from it sits another one. They crawl about leisurely, but clearly in no hurry to hide. And at a distance of about half a meter from them, there is a swallow's nest, a living nest, in which the chicks are growing. They crawled out of this nest and now they are looking for some cracks, holes in which they can hide and stay there maybe for the whole winter. Here is uh, another, by the way. A very revealing video. The same nest, a chick is peeping out of it. Apparently, because of the heat, it is breathing uh, heavily with its mouth. And here, from the side of the nest, one more bed bug is crawling. Apparently, there are a lot of these parasites in the nest. Uh, they are constantly sucking the blood of the chicks. And before that, they beat the parents while they were incubating their eggs. These are swallow bugs, a species of the bed bug family. Yeah, bed bugs are a family of several dozen species. Of these species, only two are permanent specialized parasites of humans. The common bed bug, Cimex lectorarius, and the tropical bed bug, Cimex hemipterus. The tropical one is more thermophilic and very attached to warm rooms. But recently it has been increasingly found in many large cities in Central and uh, Northern Europe. According to some studies, by the way, Cimex hemipterus uh, seems to be crowding out lectorarius in places where their ranges uh, overlap. But both lectorarius and hemipterus are precisely human parasites. They bite humans in the first place. Humans are the main host for them. Uh, they only switch to other animals including birds, out of desperation when a human being is not around. And this bed bug family includes about 100 species of bed bugs, which specialize in feeding on animals and bite uh, humans extremely rarely. This rarity is not due to the fact that they do not like human blood, but because they live in the wild and don't interact with humans and their biology and way of life is adapted to feeding on animals and synchronize it with the way of life of their hosts. One of these species is the swallow bug. It specializes in feeding specifically on birds, uh, mostly from the order of passerines, which arrange secure, solid nests. Common house martins, barn swallows, sand martins, sparrows and many others. Into some of these nests, uh, the bed bugs either crawl from the last year's nest nearby or from some crevice that served as a winter shelter for them. It is also believed that bugs can be brought into nests by birds themselves, when, for example, in spring, a martin checks last year's nest and here a hungry bug, which had not eaten since last year, clings to it, carried by the bird to another nest they falls away from it and so ends up in a new nest, sometimes miles away from the old one. And if the birds settle in this second nest, uh, this bed bug will get a steady source of food and a chance to breed. 
in this nest, the bed bugs are actively breeding. Evidently so active that there are too many bed bugs in the nest itself. Plus the chicks have grown up and are very active in stirring the bedding, constantly disturbing the bed bugs. In addition, the high temperature. The thermometer here now reads almost 45 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I see that this is a temperature on the sunlit wall and in the shade the air temperature is now between 30 and 35 degrees. But inside the swallow's nest with a crowd of already feathered uh, chicks it can be about 40-42 degrees because the body temperature of small passerines is about 42 degrees and the chicks can easily hit their nest on the sunny wall to about the same temperature. For common bed bugs, this is a deadly temperature at which they die in minutes. But for swallow bugs, although this is not a deadly, but apparently uncomfortable temperature. In addition, this season seems to be optimal for the spread of swallow bugs. The chicks have grown, bugs are satiated, there are a lot of them in the nest, probably even too many. Uh, some of the larvae will grow up here and uh, stay here for the winter and some of them will leave the nest and crawl out to find other nests or at least to find cracks and crevices outside uh, the nest where they will spend the winter. Until the next spring all these parasites will starve. Both uh, those that uh, stayed in the nest and those that left it and will not get into the apartment but they are adapted to long starvation. In a torpor they can survive frost and may not feed for up to a six month. In the spring, when swallows return to the nest or build a new nest nearby, the bed bugs will be there feeding and breeding again. And if the nest is destroyed or martins don't come back, bugs will die or search for another nest next year. And those which have crowded out now will start to look for new nests inhabited by birds as soon as the warmth comes next year. Exactly during these wanderings, that swallow bugs can get into apartments and houses. I guess you see how small they are and you realize that you have to try very hard to protect your flat or house from them and to keep them from crawling in through a window. Simply put, those windows and those drainage holes cannot stop them. If they crawl up to the windows, they will get into the apartment no problem. Scientific sources, by the way, confirm that such migration of swallow bugs to human housing is not a rarity, but a systematic fact. A huge number of birds that are the host for swallow bugs nest near human homes and it is no wonder that when these parasites are looking for a warm shelter for the winter, they climb into the cozy, quiet houses. For example, a study from Slovenia points out that before special searches in 1997, all data on swallow bugs in the country were collected only from its occasional encounters specifically in flats and houses. Then scientists began collecting birds' nests and extracting bugs from them. Before that, they were regularly uh, encountered only in human dwellings. Uh, that is, although the penetration of uh, swallow bugs here is not the norm for them, but it's not uncommon in general. Здесь вот обнаружено тела таких вот клопов убитых. Так, сейчас фокусируюсь. Где тут? Сейчас. Ага, вот. Вот клоп. 
Ну, видимо, от жары погиб. Наверное. Чем, если посмотреть внимательно, он тут будет не один. Не один здесь будет много. Также здесь вот сейчас ходит. Я его не вижу тоже. Муравей с крыльями. Наверное, муравей. Этот муравей наверняка может уничтожать клопов. Окно. Вот ласточки на гнездо. Одно здесь и другое прямо здесь в углу вверху. И вот такие могут быть щели вот тут вот. Потому что сетка закреплена сверху и снизу. А также есть дренажное отверстие в окнах. Вот такие. Чтобы вода по стеклу сюда стекала. И вот в гости днем заходят вот такие вот друзья, которые спокойно перебираются через... Он уже так перелез вот через вот это отверстие в квартиру. Но я его не заснял первый раз. А сейчас посадил второй раз, чтобы показать, посмотреть, как он преодолеет препятствия и что он будет выбираться не на улицу, а именно в квартиру. Спокойно забираются по пластику. Говорят, что они не любят пластиковые покрытия там скользкие. Спокойно идет по пластиковому вам окну вверх. Another question is whether they will bite a human. After all, these are swallow bugs, not human bugs. Actually, it is not a question. They will. Their bites on humans are described in many articles and scientists from Japan even show the bug bites person and mark what uh, remains on the skin after this bite. And even the description of semicosis, a skin reaction to bad bug bites, lists the swallow bugs as the causative agents in addition to the common bad bugs. Consequently, these bad bugs, which have crept into the apartment, may start biting people in a few weeks, when they get very hungry. Those that are left somewhere in the cracks of the walls outside the house or in an empty nest will accept the lack of food, tighten their belts and starve until spring. And those that end up in the apartment will be quite capable of biting humans. Another pair of shoes is that swallow bugs, even after attacking humans, will not reproduce in the apartment, even if they are fed and uh, have a human by their side every day. Or rather, they will be by the side of human. No matter. They have a certain seasonality, a certain cyclicity in reproduction, and they will start the reproductive cycle only in spring, only in the nest of certain birds. And here, in this video, The bad bug is not biting the author, most likely because it is not hungry and is simply not going to bite. The task of this uh, insect now is to find a secluded place where it can hide from light and ideally sit quietly through the fall, winter and early spring. It does not need to bite the human just because a person has fallen under a hot hand. 
Moreover, it perhaps was uh, just recently fed when it was still in the nest. Plus, there is a bright light that has not been in the nest for months, which is stressful for the bed bug and not the most comfortable environment for feeding. Perhaps if the same bed bug is found in early spring and put on the hand, it will willingly fit on a human as well. By the way, it is not worth it that in the drainage hole in the window the bed bug did not hide, although it is dark there. It crawled through it and wandered far far in search of a shelter. Perhaps to make the bed bug think that the shelter is safe, it must be very close, so that the insect would literally squeeze into it and contact it with both the abdomen and the back. For snakes, herpetologists have shown just such a choice of shelter. From two slits, differing only in the height of the ceiling, the snake will choose the one in which it touches both the floor and the ceiling, simply because no large predator will penetrate here and no one will attack it from above. Perhaps bed bugs seek shelter on the same principle, and that is why in apartments they sometimes uh, hide in such narrow crevices that people do not even suspect that insect can squeeze into them. All in all, what conclusions can be drawn from this story? The first, swallow bugs in late summer and fall can and often do climb into many apartments. Due to their flat bodies, they will crawl into the gap between mosquito nets and window frames, get through drainage holes in windows or make their way through small gaps in the mosquito nets. That is, if you have swallows or sparrows or swifts breed on your house, then you can meet these parasites. And these bugs live even in a relatively cold climate. They are observed, caught and studied almost all over Europe, except the north of Scandinavia. Uh, they are registered in the Baltic states, Sweden and Denmark. That is, it is not some southern heat-loving insects. Second, if there are no swallow nests on the house, it does not mean there are no swallow bugs. These parasites also settle in the nests of woodpeckers, wagtails, swifts, sparrows, starlings, nightingales and uh, other small birds. In Slovenia, the swallow bugs were even found in the nest of European fed dormouse. On a lot of houses there are a nest suitable for such bugs. Sort. These bed bugs can bite people if they enter houses and flats. Fourth. On the other hand, there will be no invasion of swallow bugs in the apartment. Even from attics or from such nests as we see on the video, they creep out not in very large numbers and in general only few of them crawl into flats. They will not breed in the apartment and will not constantly bite people as well. Fifth, there is a risk that in an apartment or in a separate house, such bed bugs will settle in a cage with domestic birds, with parrots, for example, or amadins, and here they can already begin to breed. Although this option is rather hypothetical, there are no documented cases of swallow bugs breeding in nests of caged birds. So you have to understand that bed bugs can get into a room not only through doors or through cracks uh, beside pipes in walls, but also through windows. Just like these insects from swallow nests, common bed bugs can do it, but they will crawl out the window from their neighbor's apartment, crawl up the outside wall of the house to your window and climb into your apartment through the window. You have to take this into account when protecting your apartment from bed bugs or figuring out how bed bugs got in if you did not have time to protect your place. Наш гость продолжает движение вверх. Ползет ему и не помогал. Он самостоятельно добирается. А на улице, кстати, в этот момент на солнце почти плюс 45 градусов. То есть э, в эту температуру они должны погибать. 
То есть, если его положить как бы на подоконник раскаленный на солнце, он должен погибнуть. Может быть, поэтому он так и активен, что из-за жиры они ищут место, возможно, из-за жиры ищут место укрыться от тепла, от солнца и лезут в квартиры. And by the way, these swallow bugs die from the most common insecticides. We are very grateful to the author who made these videos that he even did a mini experiment. He sprayed a simple household insect spray to the table, moistened the cap of a pen in a drop of insecticide and drew a circle with the liquid around the bug. The remedy affected the bug and it was already paralyzed in a few minutes. Вот это очертило каплями дихлофос из колпачка вокруг него, вот так вот, как мелом от ведьм. Ну вот ему не нравится, когда он в жидкость вот он наступает брюшком. Наверное, погибнет. Все? Умер, что ли? Нет, не умер. Как будто бы умер прям. Не шевелится даже. Нет, шевелится. Вполне себе живой. То есть я не знаю, как дихлофосы эти убивают их. Вот если прям им в нос только брызгать. Ну, хотя у него координация нарушена. Он не может нормально бегать. Он переворачивается. Даже похож, что умер, как будто бы. This means that if you get this single bed bug anywhere near your windows or balcony, it is very likely that it is such a swallow parasite. To kill it, it is easiest to smash it with your fingers. But if you are too squeamish to do it, you can spray it with insecticide spray and it will die. And in order to make sure that in the future these insects will not get into your flat, You have to make sure that there are no bird nests near your apartment. In homes with attics, it is necessary to tighten the mesh windows in the attic. Uh, this ensures that pigeons, sparrows and swifts will not fly in there and will not make their nests. And this will prevent you from getting not only swallow bugs, but also bird mites, which can be even more problematic. One more nuance. If you have these insects through your windows, it is very useful to know how to distinguish them from common bed bugs, because common bed bugs, Cimex lectorarius, can stay in your apartment, spawn, bite you more and more severe, 
and can spoil your life. There is no consistent distinction between these pages, but somehow they are distinguishable. First of all, uh, the swallow bug is smaller. Adult swallow bugs are 3.5 to 4 mm long, while adult common bed bugs are 5 to 6 mm long. Then, the body of swallow bugs is covered with very dense hairs. If you cannot see that with the naked eye, you can see that with a magnifying glass. Common bed bugs uh, do not have hairs on their bodies at all. But the most reliable way to identify exactly the swallow bugs at home is to see them crawling through the windows and far far out the windows, see them on the wall near the bird's nest, just like our viewer did. And if you find such bed bugs at home, then take the bed linen of the bed or couch and inspect it carefully. Swallow bugs do not breed in sofas. That is, you cannot find a cluster of different aged parasites of these species with uh, white eggs and black fetuses uh, here. And if there is such a cluster on a bed, then you can be sure that these are just common bed bugs, uh, having nothing to do with swallows or other birds. If you found them, call an exterminator, otherwise it will be worse. And many thanks to my viewer for such detailed and uh, illustrative video. It is always very interesting to watch life around us in its many forms. And if you find any insects in your apartment, which species you cannot determine, so take picture of them or better shoot a video, ideally in macro mode, and uh, send it to my mail. And I will try to figure out who are your roommates?